Nice calm spring days like this are just perfect for taking a look at your lawn and garden furniture and getting it all cleaned up. And we want to give you some tips on how to do that without totally ruining the finish of your lawn and garden furniture. And first of all, take a look back here. This is a cedar bench that was donated to the Studio Gardens uh, last year. It had developed quite a bit of mildew and so what we've done with that is applied the same kind of deck cleaner that we use on a regular wood deck and it has bleaching agents in it and has taken out most of the mildew and given it a fresh clean surface and then we'll be coating that with a deck sealer product that is a penetrating material to help waterproof it. But what do you do about products that already have a finish on them? For instance, this is a redwood table and I brought this one from home and I just want to show you the difference it can make just to clean it up. If you are cleaning lawn and garden furniture and just using a soap and water solution, make sure you use a really mild product. Now I'm just using a vegetable oil based furniture cleaner. Uh, one that's mild for kitchen cabinets and so forth. You certainly don't want to use a real harsh cleanser like you'd use in an automatic dishwasher, but just a real mild soap and wipe that on. You want to stay with the grain to get most of the dirt off and then just wipe it dry with a soft, clean cloth and that should pretty well get the surface nice and clean. Now I'm looking over this, this is a, a redwood table that we bought about nine years ago and it hasn't had any treatment. I want to show you the difference down at the bottom here. We've washed this half of, of the bottom part of the table. This has just accumulated dirt from since last year overwintering out under our carport and this surface has not been exposed to full sun and so it's still in, in pretty good shape. It's still fairly well sealed up. But the top here, when it was out in the garden last summer, went through a hailstorm and needs refinishing. If you have specialty garden furniture that's made of redwood, make sure you understand what you're doing before you sand into it. One tip is with redwood furniture, it usually has not only a redwood stain, but it has an actual redwood varnish. So check with your local hardware store or lawn and garden center that sells supplies for refinishing furniture, tell them what kind of wood you have and they'll get you the right kind of product for that application because we'll need to lightly sand this and then recoat it. Now over here we have a project that's on a little bit larger scale. You might have some lawn and garden furniture that's either painted or also a natural wood finish and this is one that to me gives an excellent example of how rapid weathering can occur. Now this is the seat of this chair and this was out under a little homestead garden porch put out there brand new just a year ago. This is how it looked then and this is how it looks now. So it has weathered considerably and when you put any lawn and garden furniture out and you add up sun and water you end up with quite a bit of weathering. Not only has the surface sheen come off of this but we also have some splitting that has occurred right here and then a little bit back here and what we're going to need to do is inject a little bit of wood glue in there and then clamp that down here and also over on this split because that's not going to improve any just by sanding and revarnishing. So it turns out this is a fairly large job for us to do um, in our studio garden and we're going to take our time with it. Now if you don't have any repair work to do you might still look around and make sure that all the joints are tight. This happens to have screws that hold it together. and We've made sure that those are all screwed up real tight. It also had little plugs like this that fit in to cover the screw holes and some of those have popped out. You can buy replacements for those at hardware stores and what you want to do is make sure that you sand this area and sand the surface of that to break the surface coating and then use a little bit of wood glue or or regular Elmer's glue and then fit that in there to replace it. Now looking over this, we need to wash it down and then re-sand it. And again, use the same mild detergent and washing this down, get the surface dirt off. And then in sanding furniture, you don't want to go crazy and haul out the power sander. And one tip is to just take a regular sheet of sandpaper and start out with a coarse coarse grit like this one. So it's a fairly coarse surface and then finish up with a finer grit for finer work. And what I like to do is just tear this in half and then take a regular eraser like you'd see used in a classroom and you can make yourself a nice cushioned sanding block 
and make sure you sand in the direction of the wood or, or with the grain of the wood and just to do a real gentle sanding motion. This will help rough up the surface and prepare it for putting on the varnish. Now after you've sanded, you have quite a lot of material that's come off. And another tip I want to give you is that you can wipe that off with a dry cloth or a damp cloth. You can use a vacuum cleaner, but we like to use, when we're refinishing furniture around our house, a little tack cloth. And this will take up most of the particles left over from sanding. The last of all, when you're finishing up outdoor furniture, make sure you use a varnish that is for outdoor use. And this is one that is called spar varnish, and that's meant for outdoor and marine use. It has a higher oil content than varnish is meant for interior use, and usually it has UV stabilizers so that furniture like this can have a little bit longer life out in the sun. Well, again, take advantage of the nice weather. Get out there and, and get your lawn and garden furniture in shape so you can enjoy it all through the season. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.